من يظلم فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح للأمة وجاهد في سبيل الله حق جهاد حتى أتاه اليقين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا عباد الله يقول تعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وإلى لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله يتقاكم All praise and glory belongs to Allah I ask him to send his peace and his blessings upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad his companions and all of those true followers of his way of life of this beautiful deen of Islam and Jumama to all the community members here and and Muslims everywhere around the world. In the United States, tomorrow, all over, there is going to be a celebration of the Independence Day, the 4th of July, 1776. 13 colonies, they declared independence from England. And that's where the history of this new establishment, new government, it started here in America. As you know, the American history has some positive aspects and has negative aspects as well. Recently, we are suffering from the negative consequences and particularly black people. But again, we have to recognize that there are a lot of achievements. There is a lot of positiveness that served the people in this country and also around the world. As a religious leader, when I think about independence, the first thing that comes in my mind is a personal independence. What does a personal independence mean? What does it mean independence Islamically? What is Hurriya or this freedom in Islam? And also, we're going to talk a little bit about the freedom, society freedom, or community, country freedom. What does that mean from the Islamic perspective? And what should we do in order to protect and to invade, to advance the freedom? One of the things that I can start with as a person, as an individual, according to the teachings of Islam, freedom, it means that you are free from Satan. You are independent as much as possible from Satan, from his weswese, from the whisperings of Satan. You are free from the whisperings of your, of your own carnal self that attacks you on a daily basis, every time. Free from those inner diseases, spiritual diseases of arrogance or pride, of stinginess and so on. But also we become free from the world, meaning that we are not connected to material for materialism, but we disconnect ourselves, we use this world, we use this dunya to serve us to a certain limit for the time being that we are in it. But we're not going to utilize this dunya in a such a way where we think that we're living here forever. Unfortunately, a lot of people, they have taken this path, this route, where they are treating the dunya. They have engaged with materialism to such a point where they are behaving and they are feeling 
that they will never leave this, wo this world. There is a hadith of Sayyidina Al-Haritha radiallahu ta'ala anhu who comes to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, Ya Rasulullah, I have conquered materialism. I have conquered this world. And Prophet ﷺ, he says, how did you do so? He says, by considering every stone that is on it equal to any piece of gold that is on it. Every normal stone that you see out there, to me, is the same of any piece of gold that may be out there. So to me, there is no distinct between these two. So materialism has abandoned my heart. And that is also a true freedom from materialism from this world. So I mentioned to you these three aspects. From Satan, from the nafs, and also from the dunya indicating materialism. A society freedom is not only when you have the ability as a nation your own mind or to have a market or business freedom in conducting your transactions the way how you would like within you know the the, the law that is not the only freedom but the freedom is when you act with justice when you care about the citizens of the country and when you're looking forward to improve your country not only from the materialistic perspective but also by preserving the ethics by preserving the human life and by treating all the citizens the same as a leader in your eyes the citizens whether they agree with you or disagree with you you have to treat them all the same. These are the citizens of this country. And I'm not talking only about this country that we live in, but I'm talking about any country around the world. Just as the person treats this hurriya, this freedom of the, or this independence, where you get away from, you know, the whispers of shaitan, or you get away from your own nafs, or you get away from materialism, in a similar way to as a society, you need to make sure that you are getting away from anything that harms not just the physical health of the individuals, of the citizens, but also the inner health or the spiritual health of the citizens. And again, spiritual health, it entails the justice, ethics in society, all of these must preserve and you as a leader, you as a nation, you as a government must look forward to our preserving both of these indication in a balanced way. I mean the ethical and justice and all of the categories that fall under those together with, you know, economy and, you know, human life, you know, protecting the country from enemies and so on. So both aspects, they have to be considered. And unfortunately, because we are being led by individuals who are only looking at the materialistic perspective and they think that that's what it is, preserving a country and advancing a country, we are suffering the consequences nowadays, here in this country and in many other countries around the world. Because we have leaders who think they have a mindset according to that perspective, which is again, the materialistic perspective. What happened to the human dignity? What happened to justice? What happened to equality? Hmm? All of these are very important questions that as a society, as leaders, as a country in general, and even as individuals, we have to think in order to better our country, our society, and ourselves as well. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us among those who are concerned about themselves, the future of their families, the future of the society, and the community at large.